days. Uh, and the big news, o Obama is now supporting gay rights over religious rights. But then again, he is a Muslim. So, you know. Hello. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, I'm just curious. How important are your rights? Which rights are more important? Gay rights? Your race rights? Religion rights? Mm. That's a good one for Obama. Well, because, oh, which one is he supporting now? Gay rights, I think it is. Yeah. Well, I think it changes on a daily basis. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Al Gore says, you're going to have to pay more for chocolate, and it will be a luxury soon because of global warming. Uh, uh, chocolate? Yeah, well, because the areas that it grows in <laughs> are in the, in the jungles of South America, which hasn't been affected as slightly, in the slightest, by global warming, no matter what. The warmer it gets, the better the stuff grows, and it's not like they're going to run out of water. Chocolate. I know, you're chocolate, yeah. <laughs> that she'd go bad because she makes you think. Chocolate. <laughs> One of her beauty treatments is, is chocolate. Yeah. And Listeria outbreak, what you, sh what you should do and let us recall in California. Uh, one, you should never, and no matter if the thing is bagged or not, you should always wash the stuff because the strain. They've been saying that for a long time. They keep telling people and the way listen, they assume that everything is safe out of the bag. No, because they found the Listeria strains in the package in the package lettuce bags, not on the lettuce, but in the bag, so. Well, part of it is you need to clean your, your uh, fruits and vegetables with more than water, too. Yeah, because there's a, I mean, we got something specifically for that, which we got from a company, which we, we use all the time to clean it. We wash everything off with that mm -hmm. stuff. And strong quake rocks in northeast Japan. Because Japan, basically, it's, um, you know, the, the, they've drained, the, they drain the groundwater out of the country because the ground, what, you know, if, if you've got a great big cavity where the water used to be, the ground has a tendency to, to want to fill up that space. And they're, you know, uh, it's why they got so many distillation plants setting in, in Japan now because they're running out of water for the people of the country. Oh, that's bad. Yep. Really bad. Meanwhile, a cat with two faces lives 12 years and sets a record. Oh, I know, it's a, it's a Janice face, a two-faced cat. You know. Oh, you mean like for Janice funds? Yeah, that's a two-faced... Uh, two oh, it's a two-faced Roman god. A two-faced Roman god, but this is a two-faced cat, but a lot of the Janice signs are a two-faced cat, not a two-faced person. And White House approves yet another $5 billion in loans. Yeah, for three companies. They, they, they didn't get the message. Okay, Congress is basically pissed at... He basically... They can guarantee they made no checks on anything because they rushed to get that five, four point seven billion dollars was done uh, in a matter of like 10, 15 minutes because they had to get the money. They love it. If we don't get this money into their hands, the Republicans will stop it. So they just signed a deal giving them the money flat out, which basically, I mean, okay, we put it this way. If Obama wasn't going to be president for life, which is what he figures to be, he would be in a jail cell when this administration over. He actually will be the first president of the United States to ever be charged with a crime. Because they know that this money is going to people that he personally knows. I mean, some of this money went to people that he was in. I didn't remember that I, you know, he's one of the founders of one of the companies. One of the founders and didn't remember that he was a founder of it. I'm just curious how much cycles back into his personal bank accounts, whether in the form of companies he's already invested in. Okay. Or Everybody knows that Solyndra did not lose half a billion dollars in a few months. It couldn't be done. I mean, where they, you know, they, they were basically building one sheet at a time. They were not putting a lot of money. They had an automated system, but they had a thousand people working, and all they could turn out was the, the sheets were, the, the, the solar <laughs> panels were so expensive that they couldn't be sold to anybody to begin with, and they knew it. And so they weren't, they really weren't putting the money into the business, they were putting the money into $200,000 month salary for people. So is that why the White House approved yet another $5 billion in loans? Because a lot of it's going to his campaign, uh, campaign people, 
you know, so, and they'll funnel it back into his campaign. They said, Obama needs a billion dollars to run, and Obama's, Obama isn't bringing in enough money to fund the Democratic Party a month now. <laughs> well, three dollars get you a chance to have a dinner with the President of the United States now. Three dollars? It used to be it used to be 25 and they cut it down to three <clears> because nobody was wanting that. Now you're talking 300 versus 25? No, we're what? talking three dollars to have dinner with the President of the United States. Basically you're putting people in a pot, you know, and drawing out names. But the problem was it was uh, $25 originally and nobody was buying. <gasps> Oh, are you serious? Nobody wants to. They 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 didn't get enough money. Well, the, he was appealing, and Michelle, you have an opportunity of a lifetime for three dollars. You have a chance to have dinner with the president. But I have the thing that came the week before. You have an opportunity of a lifetime for five dollars, and then before that, to ten dollars, fifteen. They've been going from twenty-five to three because the the people he needs to come to give him the little donations don't have jobs. Wow. <clears throat> and dozens arrested and drug raided at Pennsylvania Boeing plant. I know, but uh, not, it, uh, can you imagine a place where they got, they have drug testing and people taking drugs at a place where there's constant drug testing because Why would you even bother doing that? Because, um, okay, the Obama administration doesn't think drug use is that big a deal along with any other crime in this nation unless it's against a criminal if you do something mm -hmm. against a criminal well first of all they said obama is going to go to jail over the killing of an american citizen by the drone attacks mm -hmm. that's prohibited by law directly prohibited by law and he did it anyway he you know they said well he did what a good guy now i heard i heard uh, one of the libertarian was one of the conservatives they said the President of the United States, there are laws on the books that are there for reasons. They said if you're going to kill somebody as an American citizen, you don't let the world know you did it. That's how other presidents got away with it. You did it secretly. In a letter, Knox says is tired, thinks of Seattle. Oh, that's that Amanda Knox. Oh, I love this. I mean, the forgotten person in this whole thing is the woman that she and her boyfriend so brutally murdered. Uh, let's see, there's no evidence that they did anything and nobody's forgotten the girl because that's all the prosecutors do on a daily basis. Is bring her up? The press, that she was brutally murdered by this. No, well, she wasn't. Somebody, they know who did it. They've known who did it from the very beginning because the guy confessed. They well, then why is it? <laughs> And what in the world are they, they doing that? He was doing it on, no matter what he said, he was doing it on her orders. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they basically they didn't, you know, they didn't like her. She's a rich, obnoxious girl, so they tossed her into jail so in Italy. And Joe Biden, Obama administration, not Bush, White House owns the economy's problems. Okay, uh, let's see. The Nancy Pelosi and Reid are not even talking about his jobs bill. They're not talking about raising taxes. They want everything to go away. Um, Warren Buffett turns on the President of the United States and said he never said he was paying less money than his secretary. He said that he said specifically to the President, my company pays less money than my secretary does on, on capital gains because she doesn't, he says, she pays no money on capital gains. So therefore, you know, you know, <laughs> it, 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 he, there, he was talking about 400 people that 400 businesses that were not paying their fair share, four, of which he, he, he owes a billion dollars to the government in, in penalties because he's refused to pay his personal income taxes. Oh, really? Yeah. And Abbas says no talks without Israeli settlement freeze. That's not going to happen because um, the reason they keep moving the settlements in, first it's their land to begin with. Anybody ever read the Bible? What Maybe happened not. was, that was their land. What happened was they lost the war and the Palestinians came in. Then they won the war and the Palestinians were tossed out. You know, and if Obama has his way, okay, this is why we brought out flip-flop Obama. I am the best friend that ever, the best friend as President of the United States that any Jewish government has ever had. <laughs> not that they can fight. <laughs> and a decade after anthrax attacks, worry over a stock.
Yeah, because it basically is. is I would be more worried about the fact uh, of arsenic than anthrax because arsenic you can go pick up at any store. Anyway, arsenic is nothing more than ground up peach pits, folks. Oh, really? Anybody with a peach tree can create arsenic to basically to poison the entire water system. An official's drone likely killed top Al Qaeda bomb maker. Yeah, that was another American. That, and, um, I would not be proud. This guy actually thought that it was going to give him a boost in the polling. No, it didn't give him any boost. He went down. He went up in national security and down in taking care of the country because, as they said, well, maybe if he put as much work into getting people work as he does killing people, we might actually have a better country. Ooh. Yeah. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal okay, that, uh, you, you know when you go into an empty business that no matter what the people running the business say, it's not full.